Hi everybody! For this project, it's uh, going to be pretty special because I got my friend Alain who came all the way down from Quebec to help me work on it. So my wife wanted some curtain rods for the upstairs of the house, uh, five windows and all, and I've already turned the dowels for it out of cherry, and the downstairs of the house has these finials, and she likes them, so she wants us to replicate them, and uh, Alain came with his turning tools and his expertise. Yes, I did. <laughs> I bought my. I brought mine with me. And, well, that one there is a homemade carbide chisel. I, I'm pretty impressed with it. Uh, you'll have to wait to see the making of that on Elaine's channel. The woodpecker. <laughs> <laughs> so, so to start with, I made these glue ups of cherry. I had all these scrap pieces that I wanted to make use of. So that's a sandwich of four layers. That's a sandwich of two. We're going to cut these up to turn our blanks from them. I had become a fan of Alain's channel years ago before he built his shop. Uh, not just because he's so prolific and talented, but because I love his accent. I grew up in northern Maine and lived many years on the Canadian border. And I'm also of French ancestry, so his accent is very dear and familiar to me. Alain and I would email back and forth talking about woodworking and after he built his new shop I wrote him and suggested that we get together and do a build and we've been friends ever since. Here I'm just trimming the corners so we can round up the blanks quicker. The end of the finial has a circular recess to accept the curtain rod so we got to use a Forstner bit to drill it in first. I drew a little line on the edge of the bit to mark its depth. We're going to chuck our work into the lathe using this homemade driver. It's a piece of wood turned down for, the pe for it to fit over the end with a screw up the middle to screw the piece on. And here we drill the hole that that screw will go into. So here's the original, here's the one that I did, there's one that I did. Mine was a little bit beefier than the original, I think I'll have to go back and turn it down a little bit, which is fine, it might give me a smoother finish. Uh, but these, these two are made from the same wood, so I want them to be a match set. So while we were in the shop, Alain's wife, Renee, was a big help to me uh, pulling nails out of this flooring that I recovered out of the old house that I tore down. I plan on putting this on the floor in my office in the house. She got really far into the stack by the time she left. Thanks, Renee. Back in the shop, I made this little jig so that I could drill perfectly straight and centered into the end of the curtain rod. Then we took these double-ended screws that let us screw the finial into the end of the curtain rod. So having made our first set of finials, we needed to make four more pairs. So I cut blanks out of this big solid piece of cherry. Now 
and then cut them so that they were three inches square. And then ran them through the same process we did before. Here you go, Pete, your curtain rod. Yeah, it looks like it's ready for the window dressing. <laughs> Go see how it looks inside. Okay. Well, I had a fine time hosting Alain and Renee, and every time I look at the curtains, I'll think of what a fine long weekend we had together.